You're listening to nothing important. He sits up and looks right at me. Goes, he goes, Dan. He goes, that was the nicest beating I have ever received. <laughs> <laughs> Please enjoy the show. This is the Nothing Important Podcast. My name is Brian, and with me, as always, is not Jeff, but Dave. Dave, how's it going? Hi, not Jeff, but Brian. <laughs> Dave and I also host It's All Good, Man, the Better. Better Call Saul podcast. You can find that at it's all goodman.com. You can find that on iTunes, and you might want to check that out because Better Call Saul is starting back up April 10th. So it's a little bit of a wait this time, Dave, but uh, it's coming slowly but surely. Well, that's awesome because that's more time for us to get some of the cast members back on. Absolutely. And speaking of cast members, we most recently spoke with uh, Michael McKean, who's a legend in many facets, but he also plays Chuck McGill on Better Call Saul. So you might want to head over to It's Saul Goodman and uh, check out our interview with him. On the third mic is not Dave, but Jeff. Jeff, how's it going, my friend? I'm not always here. Despite popular opinion, that's tr- that, <laughs> that is true. Uh, you weren't here a couple weeks ago when we spoke to uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Coke Cabana. No, who, I did. Uh, I I got to listen to that afterwards, uh, just like a regular regular old folk. <laughs> yeah, you, so I'm no, sorry, I missed uh, that though. Can I can I tell you something? Well, it, can I tell you something? Go ahead. That yeah. Coke Cabana interview is the first time that somebody on like one of my Facebook friends messaged me and said that was a good interview with guest x like oh, of all really? the interviews well, we've yeah. done that was the first time somebody was said was like hey that was a dope interview with cole <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're well, learning I mean, I mean there's there's something to be said i guess as far as uh as colt goes because uh i did ask him to be on the show and to do a phoner and he's like fuck that uh i'm coming over and that's exactly <laughs> what he did <laughs> so so and about uh, those fans, he, you know, those fans are, they're yeah, hardcore. He, very, first off, he, he was a super nice dude. And, uh, I ended up actually having to apologize to him because he, he was there for an hour and I was trying to respect his time. And Dave let me know that it might've seemed as if I sh- ushered him out the door when he was done. <laughs> so I had to write him and tell him, um, I don't think I was like that, but it, Dave tells me that, I, and my wife tell me that I might have been. So please do not take uh, offense to that. I I did not usher you out the door. I'm like, in fact, uh, I now consider you a homie of the podcast, and I hope you come back on. And uh, it after going back and forth with him a few times, it looks like he may very well be joining us on some of our uh, Better Call Saul. It's all good men podcast. Oh, nice! Should be hilarious. Very nice. awesome. Yeah, yeah. We're going to support Colt. I believe he's uh, actually uh, in Europe right now. Wrestling, but when he comes back to the uh, to the city, to the Chicago area, my wife and I, and hopefully Dave and uh, Jeff, maybe you can make a trip up. We're all going to go t- uh, cheer him on on one of his matches, and it should be a good time. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. It'll yeah. be my first uh, uh, wrestling match ever. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be awesome. It'll be a good time. So, and then uh, enough rambling. Also, we've talked to Mike Rowe and a ton of other people. Please make sure to check that out at nothingimportantpodcast.com and subscribe to us on iTunes. I'm pretty excited because uh, today we have a return of Dan the Beast Severin. And Dan was actually one of the first uh, named people to grant us an interview like two years ago now, Dave. Yeah, that was uh, it was definitely one of our earlier attempts at this whole shenanigans that we're doing. And he was very gracious and rescheduled a bunch of times. And then once it finally came together, it came together. And my favorite comment yeah. was, because uh, it was always from the start, we wanted 15 minutes, you know, keep it short mm-hmm. and sweet. And then he said, well, you'll be lucky to get me off the phone in half an hour. And I thought that was pretty <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and it, and it, was, it was very true, because uh, Dan, um, Dan has a lot of stories to tell. He's been around the world. He's wrestled, pro-wrestled. He's fought, uh, MMA pioneer. So if anybody has uh, stories to tell, 
It's uh, Dan the Beast Severin, and we're happy we're going to be calling him shortly. And uh, hopefully it works out this time. But in the meantime, gentlemen, it's good to talk to you again. Uh, if you're listening to this episode, depending on uh, when Dave gets his stuff together, we should have also uh, our chat up with Rick Astley. And yes, it's that Rick Astley, which was super exciting as well. Well, by the time you hear this, the chat with Rick Astley will be up because that is the order of release. But yes, I apologize. <laughs> This is like the pre-taped call-in show. So if you're listening last week, I apologize. I was sick. I got a pretty bad sinus <laughs> infection. So the Rick Astley interview was delayed by a couple of days, but it's seeming to be we're getting them up by Wednesdays, and that's kind of – like hump day is a pretty good day to put out a podcast, I guess. Yeah, right on. And uh, I only bring that up because that is the last time that I actually spoke to both of you. It is. Yeah. It's been a glorious been a week ever since. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's, probably, it's probably been nice and quiet for you guys. I haven't been texting you so much, but uh, I've been busy at it at work. And I, last weekend, got to witness history, my friends. I had tickets from my senator to go witness the majesty <laughs> of the Donald Trump inauguration. And it was everything I expected it to be. <laughs> that uh, leads to question, what did you expect it to be? Uh well, uh, first off, I think I've been pretty clear about this on the podcast. I make no bones about it. Like, uh, I would probably be more of a right centered person, but I've also said several times, um, politics kind of really bore me. And I think it, instantly when people start talking politics, all I could think is like, uh, uh, this guy's talking out of his ass or he's a know-it-all. Like <laughs> that's the only way I see <laughs> politics. So it was, it was super interesting going there. Cause, uh, me nor my wife consider us any member of any political party, but we're there for the experience, right? Like that's a cool thing as an American to get actual, not have to stand at the mall, but like, you know, actually get to be up front, you know, as, 